From artistic heritage, elaborate canal systems, to narrow houses with gabbled facades, the legacy of this city's 17th century golden age seeps through every cobblestone we step on. We're back from our travels in the Netherlands in Amsterdam and we have the weekend off so we're free from our work, from our duties of life, from responsibilities and we're starting off the day having breakfast at Backer Park in the park. and we're just going to just chill around our city and explore, probably hit up some museums, yeah, and enjoy what's left of this wintry days. Here now in Albert Kuyp Mart. <laughs> Albert Kuyp Mart. Oh. <laughs> Albert Kuyp Mart. Almost. Almost? Okay. Well, my Dutch is getting there, I think. But this market has been here and it spans blocks and blocks and blocks since 1905. So it's quite an iconic market where you can get everything from food to cheese, clothing, souvenirs, and it's just an essential part of life here. Yeah, I'm getting the uh, Ikitel's robot. Yes, thank you. Hey, look, thank you. Is this the biggest robot you've ever seen? This is the biggest. Can we measure it to my my head, my face? <laughs> it's a big. I can't see the camera. I think it's bigger. I think it is bigger. And my my forehead and my face is my head is pretty big. So that that's kind of a good verdict. But stroke waffles are basically. A box. I think this is the best Dutch food snack yeah. ever. I would say, especially on a cold winter day like this, it's so warm. Toasty. Okay, take a bite so I can take a bite. <laughs> I only get this on the markets. Mm. Good fresh chocolate waffle. Yeah, I mean, you saw how it was made. More in front of us, too. Ooh, I'm just syrupy inside. It's already melting in my mouth. Mm. He's so happy. Mm -hmm. So a strop waffle is basically kind of like the name, like strop, which means syrup in Dutch, and waffle put together. But it's very thin, 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 almost like a crepe, a waffle. <laughs> Crunchy, the thick layer of syrup inside. Ah, love. Actually, actually used by NBA teams. Yeah. Um, as a, like a mid-game snack because it gives a lot of uh, energy. Oh, they're hugely popular. Yep. I love it. I'm glad that this Dutch export is. <laughs> It's a famous Dutch singer, Andre Hazes. He is deceased, unfortunately. Oh, but what type of music? Uh, like uh, the typical Dutch uh, drinking <laughs> music, I would say. Oh, because people still seem to love him. Oh, they there's do. There's like they lots do. of flowers. Yeah.
we decided to pop into the Amsterdam Museum because what better way to learn about our city than this whole museum dedicated to it. Amsterdam has started, people have been living here since the year 1000 and then in the 17th century when the whole city became a huge economic boom with all the merchants, the shipyards coming in, people come here from all around the world, all these different immigrants, people from Norway, from Germany, from Belgium coming here to do their trades and finding economic success. Other countries were ruled by monarchies and kings, whereas in Amsterdam, this is the town hall and how majestic there it is. Because there's no palace in Amsterdam, but a huge town hall because it was ruled by the merchants. Hey, the screen is changing too. Another day biking in Amsterdam. Is this from what year? 1927. Oh. Well, it's much cuter than your bicycle now. Yes. <laughs> Picturesque Holland. The Netherlands State Railway. Oh, I love that. Also, the Netherlands was the first country in the world to legalize gay marriage. Okay, so I just found out that Jeroen, a local Dutch, grew up in the Netherlands, lived here all his life, has never, never been to the Anne Frank Museum. Which is why we're going today. <laughs> so shook. Back in the seventh grade, I had to read the diary of Anne Frank. It was required reading for all the Canadian kids in school. So this is like quite a momentous thing. And the Anne Frank Museum, or the Anne Frank House, is where the whole diary and story, true life story, takes place. So you're telling me... Uh, I never uh, <laughs> got a chance to read it yet. It's not obligatory reading in school. What? <laughs> no, no, we can do like the whole history, of course, but then also the story from my grandparents, like how it was like during war time. All right, because you're... Your grand, for example, your grandma lived Because the war was through. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, Canadians fought in the war. I know. Liberated the Netherlands. Which we're still very thankful for. It's sent two dips every year. Yes. <laughs> but okay, then we must go now to the Anne Frank house. <laughs> It'll be my second time going. Just wait.
the Rijksmuseum. Finally, after so long being in Amsterdam, finally get to explore this magnificent national treasure. The Rijksmuseum is a Dutch national museum dedicated to arts and history in Amsterdam. It was founded in 1798 and of course has all of the Dutch masters. If you could only go to one museum in Amsterdam, well, this is the granddaddy of them all. This museum tells the story of the Netherlands from its origins to modern day and showcases Dutch pride from sculptures to paintings to, well, every single piece here. Now they're restoring the painting. This is the magnificent gallery of honor with Rembrandt, Vermeer, Staines and Halls. Basically just an all-star gallery. And then at the end there is a whole room dedicated to Rembrandt. Here is a guest from Antwerp, Rubens. So what was supposed to be just a little jaunt in the Reich Museum turned out to be two whole hours. <laughs> and so of course we are starving. Spend the evening with some sushi by the window. Yum, 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 yum. All right, so I think it's about time to head home and cuddle, right? It looks so cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to get under the sheets, but thank you for joining us today on our day off in Amsterdam. And if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the Logies family already, hit subscribe. And we'll see you in the next adventure.